death has come to Dallas. Not only being humiliated in front of a team with no name, but now their newest gunslinger Andy Dalton headhunted by a hired gun in John Bostick. The city is on edge. The walls are closing in on Cherry Boy. His prized team is crumbling at the seams. They have no offense. They have no defense. Their strengths are neutralized by glaring liabilities. But regardless of this calamity, the brass at the very top of the food chain see no issues. They're in the NFC East, you know. The division is horrible. Everything will be fine. The bottom floors may be on fire and the building is about to collapse, but they see no fires up where they are. Just little blips running around screaming. Those are obviously people wanting a glimpse of Jerry. No autographs, please. He has important shit to deal with. Like his quarterback situation. Andy Dalton, due to heinous war crimes against him, will not be playing this week. That responsibility goes to Ben DiNucci, a seventh round third string greenhorn from James Madison. He's being chucked to the wolves. Sink or swim, kid. Welcome to the NFL. For his first test, he will face another hated rival, the Philadelphia Eagles. They have many tombstones. The dead and wounded in their old town are known to many. A deadly plague has struck them to the core. The injury bug. It shows no mercy nor restraint, like the oil man in that black gold he so desires. This game has a lot on the line for both teams. Pride, bragging rights, some shred of hope, and the worst part of all, the NFC East Division lead. The novice gunslinger Danucci will do his best to impress, but... Dear God, he's nowhere near ready for a duel. Put him back on the grill, this cow's still mooing. The offense can't do anything but kick field goals, but Carson Wentz is also trying way too hard to be the hero. Look at this lone soldier charge blindly into enemy lines. It's quite the shame that the entirety of the defensive turrets gun him down on the first charge. This is a really bad game of football. Dallas is neutered without a legitimate option at quarterback. Philadelphia is straight neutered. They have no bite to their games. Who truly wins? Dak Prescott. For every time Danucci is desperately heaving the rock, he looks at Jerry and whispers, You need me. Your offense is useless without my skills. Pay up. Pay in gold. The injury will probably do little to his value to the team, to be honest. You know why? Because both teams are completely useless with the ball. At least Wentz got a touchdown, enough said about Gucci Danucci. The name itself is damning on its own. Things are starting to look quite hopeless. It's... it's pretty bad, let's just say that. But then, like the blitzing defender, hope is smacked into their faces. It's ugly as Houston, rough as El Paso, and unlikable as Oklahoma, but Dallas is creeping back into this contest. The field goal will be their friend today. It's the only option with the limited resources they have at their disposal. Like picking up a girl at 2 a.m., trickery can only go so far as Philadelphia can attest. Except when the boys do it, then we just hope it works. Screen passes on a third and 14, very bold trickery indeed. A brief respite from this horror as Carson Wentz launches a one-man crusade and fails. The comedy and tragedy of the offense continues on to the end of the half. Somehow, this is considered professional football. And Dallas is leading the game 9-7, despite how terrible they've looked offensively. God help us all. Unfortunately, God did not hear our prayers. We sinners must be punished for our thought crimes. We must continue to watch this torture. The former Lord and Savior Carson Wentz's guiding light is a mirage. The darkness must continue on. Here is more trickery that couldn't fool a five-year-old. Only works the first three times you do it, I guess. Might have aided this field goal try. It wouldn't save them from the inevitability of Carson Wentz finally taking what he has given, but it would have been a decent consolation prize. Philadelphia has the lead again, and they converted a two-point conversion. Can it be? Offense? In this football game? Impossible. We need more sloppiness from Dallas itself. Trusting Gucci Danucci on a fourth and two. Wrong move, kids. Despite this, they're somehow moving. Very, very slowly, like the scorn decks ready to sabotage, but they are moving. That was before they sentenced Danucci to death. And it was somehow ruled a fumble. And a touchdown for Philadelphia. And all hope then evaporated. You expect this team to score two touchdowns? Let alone in a quarter? This team couldn't even produce yesterday's homework, yet you expect them to do this Herculean task? But Mike McCarthy has a tactical plan up his sleeve. 
a last resort method devised from his time in Wisconsin. They will deliberately snap the ball into the end zone for a safety. It was a tactic devised in ancient China. Reroute a flooded river to ruin a few villages, but save the city. The same tactics were executed to perfection. If the city was destroyed as well, mission accomplished. The Cowboys are now in free fall. Two and six with next to no hope for the season. The tombstone is being engraved as I speak. The no touchdown Cowboy is about to be buried in a mass grave. They may technically be in the playoff hunt, but do you really see this team as good? Don't tell that to Steven Jones though. They aren't trading anyone at the deadline. They're still in this to fight. Andy Dalton will also be fighting them, but it'll be COVID. Mr. Danucci will sit in the corner and think about what he's done, however. Next week has them returning home, but it's against hell itself. And I'm not talking about the last unbeaten team in the league. Looks like we might be seeing each other next week, won't we?